हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज़ आलोक सेमवाल एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एंटी न्यूप्लास्टिक एजेंट्स एंटी न्यूप्लास्टिक एजेंट्स आर अ ग्रुप ऑफ स्पेशलाइज्ड ड्रग्स यूज्ड प्राइमरली टू ट्रीट कैंसर दीज ड्रग्स आर यूज्ड फॉर प्रिवेंटिंग द ग्रोथ एंड स्प्रेड ऑफ ट्यूमर्स और मेलेग्नेंट सेल्स treatment strategy of malignant tumors or cancer has generally involved initially surgical removal followed by radiation and or chemotherapy if necessary in those cases where complete surgical removal is not feasible radiation and chemotherapy becomes the only available option now as we discussed earlier the term chemotherapy in strictest sense refers to drugs that are used to kill cells and includes both antibiotics and agents used in the treatment of cancer but this term is often used to refer anti cancer agents next is classification of anti neoplastic agents classification includes several main categories which are further subdivided into various subcategories first main category is alkylating agents subcategories of alkylating agents include nitrogen mustards azeridine alkyl sulfones second main category is antimetabolites subcategories include purine antagonists pyrimidine antagonists and folates next main category is of antibiotics and natural products antibiotics includes actinomycin anthracycline antibiotics and bleomycin plant products includes epipodo phyllotoxins and vincalcoloids last main category is of miscellaneous compounds next we will discuss the first main category of anti neoplastic agents which is alkylating agents alkylating agents are a class of drugs that are capable of forming covalent bonds with important biomolecules the major targets of drug action are nucleophilic groups present on dna especially the seventh position of guanine residue however proteins and rna among others may also be alkylated this is the general reaction for alkylation and inactivation of alkylating agents where x represents a leaving group r denotes alkyl group the general mechanism for alkylation involves nucleophilic attack by n methylene methamine amino hydroxyl and monoamine phosphate of dna and rna while additional nucleophiles like thiol and carboxylic present in proteins may also react reaction with water is also possible reaction involves displacement of a leaving group on the electrophile by nucleophile first subcategory of alkylating agent is nitrogen mustards the nitrogen mustards are compounds that are chemically similar to sulfur mustard or mustard gas developed and used in world war first The term mustard comes from the similarity in the blisters produced by the compound and those seen upon exposure to the oil of black mustard seeds. Drugs in this category include machlorethamine, chlorambucil, malphalan, cyclophosphamide and ephosphamide. Second subcategory is azeridine. It includes thiotepa third subcategory is alkyl sulfones it include busulfan next main category of anti neoplastic agents is anti metabolites anti metabolites are compounds closely related in structure to a cellular precursor molecule yet these imposter substances are capable of preventing the proper use or formation of the normal cellular product These antimetabolites are similar enough in structure in many cases to interact with the normal cellular process but they differ in a manner sufficient to alter the outcome of that pathway 
first subcategory of this category is pyrimidine drugs. These are also known as pyrimidine antagonists. It includes 5-fluorouracil, floxuridine and cytarabine. Second subcategory is purine drugs. It includes 6-mercaptopurine, thiogenine and azathioprine. Third subcategory is folates. Drug candidate in this category is methotrexate. Next main category is antibiotics and natural products. A variety of the anti-cancer agents available today are derived from natural sources with several of these being obtained from microbial sources. Those obtained from microbial sources are known as antibiotics. Many of the antineoplastic antibiotics are produced by the soil fungus Streptomyces. Both the antibiotic and natural product classes have multiple inhibitory effects on cell growth. However, their primary action is to disturb DNA function and cell division. First subcategory of this category is actinomycins. It includes dactinomycin. Second subcategory is anthracycline antibiotics. Drugs in this category are doxorubicin and donorubicin. Third subcategory includes bleomycin. These subcategories are of antibiotics. Next two subcategories belongs to plant products. Categories includes epiphotophyllotoxins and vinylcaloids. Drug candidate in epiphotophyllotoxins are etoposite phosphate and etoposite. In vinylcaloids, vincristine and vinblastine. Fourth and last category is of miscellaneous compounds. It includes cisplatin and metoten. This is the reference of this PowerPoint presentation. Thank you.